Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the weeks of October 5th through the 18th, 2020. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal reading, be sure to email me or check the description box below for ways to reach me. Um, if you're wanting to reach me by phone, you can always request a call back. It's just that I may not be able to get to you that day, but you'll remain in the call queue and you will get a call back from me. Um, also, if you want to book for a personal video or email reading, payments and orders are collected on Fridays. All right, so central issue, heart of the matter, we have the nine of wands. We have the four of wands, the queen of cups. We have the Empress, the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Fool, and the Hanged Man. All right, so I feel like you guys are uh, having a hard time trusting someone. I feel like something's going on where you're coming off as being suspicious. I don't know what happened in the past. Um, unless this is the energy of someone coming towards you, I feel like maybe uh, they have not worked up the courage to come forward. But eventually I feel like whoever is having these inner issues will overcome them. Now, you may be feeling the love like I feel that people or someone in particular may be showing you that they care about you. Um, maybe someone is spoiling you or giving you gifts or complimenting you. Um, so I feel that you are going to uh, feel a lot of love from someone. Mm, or unless you are the one expressing your unconditional love for someone. Mm, I feel too that if you're in a relationship, uh, I see a successful pregnancy. I was going to say be careful if you're not wanting that, but you look kind of happy. So I don't know, you might be very fertile. Maybe you're trying to get pregnant. I don't know if you've been having doubts and feeling like I doubt that we get pregnant or, but you know, maybe it's good news and you find out that you get a positive result for a pregnancy. Mm. I also feel that even if you are not in a relationship and you're single, I feel like you are coming off and feeling very confident and making yourself very attractable, attractable, attractive, um, and letting it be known that you are single and available. And I do feel that you are going to get the attention of others. I feel like there's romance. I feel like you're going to have a romantic, um, well, have romantic moments um, throughout the next couple of weeks here. Mm. You could be dealing with the water sign too, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I feel like someone is like, I don't care anymore. I don't care what people think. This is how I feel about you. So I feel like maybe that there's definitely someone who doesn't care if they do look like a fool. They're just talking about how they feel about you. Um, or unless you're the one doing this, you're like, I don't care anymore. Look, this is how I feel. Um, now I also get that there may be delays though. Something you're wanting to happen could get delayed. Even though I feel like things that you are desiring will manifest, I also see delays until further notice or there's still a need to see something from a different perspective. You could still be holding on to a certain type of mindset that needs to be released. 
I also feel like for some of you, you are being prepared for what's to come. Maybe intuitively you feel like somebody's getting ready to enter your life. You're like, I could feel it. I could just feel somebody coming towards me. So you are just being patient and just waiting for it and doing things like to prepare for this manifestation. So maybe you are meditating and you're just doing a lot of things to prepare for this love. Some of you are ready for love. Maybe you weren't ready at first. Maybe some of you were trying to get past a water sign or move on from a water sign. And maybe it took a time for you to trust people again because somebody hurt you in the past, or that water sign hurt you. It doesn't just have to be a water sign, but you know, just kind of how the cards are laid out. That's what it's making me think of. Um, but because of that situation, it took you a while to overcome certain insecurities or they just left you with that scar. And I feel that something's happening where now you're like, I am ready to put myself out there again. So I do feel that you have a love offering from someone that you're going to be attracted to. I'm seeing selfless acts, someone doing something without any expectations in return. So someone is like, you don't have to tell me anything, but this is what I feel about you. Or you don't have to do anything for me. I, I wanted to do this from the bottom of my heart. So I feel like someone is like showing you genuinely that they're into you or that they appreciate you if you're in a relationship. Um, I just feel like you are being appreciated. Yeah. Um, some of you are, you understand that something is a slow process that's what you're starting to understand. Maybe you're like, okay, um, love takes time or healing takes time. Like something you're starting to understand that something is a process. Um, again, something looks like plans are being made. So it's possible that your admirer, you have a secret admirer and this person has been slowly planning to come forward. Um, someone is planning in secret on how they they want to express their love for you they've been planning it for a while now i'm seeing a a, a burning desire something um there's a burning passion or a burning desire here too you might be motivating or inspiring someone to love again um, or you might be channeling your passions for love into your work. I'm getting someone who may be a jewelry maker or someone who is finding creative ways to turn their love into art. Maybe it's music, maybe it's painting or sketches. Maybe even clothes, like someone is designing t-shirts with all these beautiful love quotes. Um, so I feel like you guys are um, finding creative ways to channel your love and even make money off of it. You might be turning your, your love into business. Even your relationship, you might be turning your relationship into a business. You're like, oh, people like to see us. Let's, let's be... Um, um, an insta couple or whatever you know you're doing things and um, or you're vlogging about your relationship so somehow you might be turning your love life into a business even if you're single I don't know maybe you start giving love advice sex advice um, or living out fantasies for someone now also something about your love life could be taboo I feel like maybe your love interest has fetishes or you have certain fetishes. I see you living out some sort of a fantasy. It's also possible too that some sort of one night stand could end up turning into something long term. It looks like someone is also planning on pursuing you or taking action. 
um, could be a fire sign or a, um, I said water, it could be a fire sign as well. So you might be planning on pursuing this person or someone is planning on pursuing you. Either way, I feel like someone's going to take action, especially after they have some sort of realization about what they want. Or the minute you have clarity about what you want, the universe will send it. Speaking of, make sure that you are clear of what it is that you want. Um, maybe those of you that are single, you're single because you don't, you haven't really been sure of what it is that you want in a relationship or a person, or maybe there, there have been multiple offers and you have options and you're like, yeah, but I want real love. Like, how do I know when something is real? And I feel like you're going to understand what that is. And the minute you understand what real love is to you, um, it'll happen. And things might even start to take off uh, quickly, where it seems like at first it was moving at a snail pace. Then it just quickly starts to manifest. So hopefully these messages have resonated. Uh, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.